wash your hands. I'm waiting for you. I'll wash my hands and then I'll eat something delicious. Whoa, what's that? What is a watermelon doing in the bathroom? Should I try a piece of this tasty berry? Oops. What is taking you so long? Did you forget how to use soap? How I love watermelons. I would eat it right away. <laughs> soap? Not a real watermelon? Of course not, Sammy. It's just soap. And you know what? It can look like ice cream or an orange or any other food. Oh, my feta sounds awesome. And does it taste like real food as well? No, Sammy. Soap is made for a different purpose. It's not supposed to be delicious. Sam, do you know what we'll do today? Oh, today we will create our own amazing... Magical and tasty... Real... Handcrafted soap cube! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the master of the soap-making craft, PhD in soap science, and professor of rainbow bubbles, Mr. Slime Sam! Thank you, Sue! I am happy to be present at such a significant event. Now I will tell you how important and secret the job was of a soap maker many centuries ago. So here you can see the example of bar soap. In old times, this kind of soap was created in secret and only for rich and aristocratic members of the society. Sam, oh, I mean professor, this doesn't look like an old soap. Susan, here we sure have just a modern copy of the old craft. Anyways, it soaks up perfectly and cleans better than anything else. Professor, that was very interesting and informative. I am very happy to hear that. Guys, give a thumbs up if you think it was interesting. And now we'll turn into... We'll turn into masters of soap making and create a couple of tasty masterpieces. And I have everything ready here. Uh, what? The ideas for the soap, of course. Oh, but you forgot one. While I'm preparing everything, tell us about your ideas. But it is obvious. Gummy bears, a watermelon, and an orange. Mm, well, the orange is more like your business. Oh, yes, I love fruit. Guys, comment below. What kinds of treats do you like the most? So, Sue, all the ingredients for our task today are ready. Tell us, what will the first soap be made out of? First, we'll need soap base. Then five bowls, six sticks, a spoon, a special popsicle mold, and five colors of soap coloring. A popsicle mold? Oh, it'll be a popsicle soap, yay! So guys, are we ready to start with the first soap? Here we go. Wait, wait. I don't think everyone there has subscribed to the channel yet. Nope, seeing things. Let's start! What will we start our soap craft with? First, we need to take soap coloring and pour each of the colors into the bowls. Oh, Sue, can I help you? Sure, take the orange one. So done. You are a real pro. Now we're adding the soap base, which we melted in the microwave earlier. Oh, yeah, I am a pro. A very modest one. But you can still give me a thumbs up, considering that I brought you a spoon to pour the soap with. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Let's proceed. Now we take the spoon and, for example, the bowl with the red soap and pour the soap carefully into each special mold. And now let's add some yellow soap. Great idea. And then we also place a stick into each mold like this. It's time to add the rest of the colors. And meanwhile, here is another soapy fact for you. The very first time soap was mentioned was in the year 2800 BC. It is incredibly ancient. Done and done. We only need to wait a little. Wow, I can't wait to see our pretty popsicles. <laughs> Voila. Ta-da. And it will really soap up. I can't believe that it is just, just soap and not a real popsicle. We can test it in the bathroom when we finish all types of soaps. No, Sue, this is unbearable! Why wait when we can try it now? <laughs> okay, Sammy, you win. Mmm, 
my favorite, watermelon. Now it's your turn. When I smell a watermelon, I always think of summer. Write in the comments if it's the same with you. So Sammy, can you tell us what we need for the second craft? Well, we'll need watermelon scent. <sighs> White soap base, transparent soap base, red and green coloring, black soap pieces, molds. Plus, something that I like very much, a ribbon for decor. Then let's create. We'll add our watermelon scent to the microwaved melted soap base. Then the red coloring. And mix them well. Can I explain what's next? Go ahead. Considering that this is watermelon pulp, here we add... Seeds. Hey, I'm talking here. Right, seeds made of black soap pieces. And now we pour everything into the mold. Don't spill a drop, Sue! The red soap should harden. And then we add the white soap. And we wait again. What do you know about soap guilds? Well, I know that they appeared in the 7th century AD. But when the factories came, all the guilds disappeared since it became so easy to produce soap. Attention! Here comes the green. What a bright color. Hmm, I am sure our guild won't fall apart. And our soap needs to set again. Let's take out our soap. Hop and hop. And decorate it! So beautiful! Yeah, I guess those who don't like to wash their hands after playing outside will definitely change their minds after they see such awesomeness. I am so looking forward to the gummy bears! When will we make them? Right now! Soap will be as jelly-like as the real gummies. Of course, that's the best thing about it. Let me show you everything. I'm ready to listen, since I want to become the best member of our guild. Good, listen then. First, we'll add some gelatin into our bowl. Then we need to pour really hot water. Be careful with that. Now we stir it until the gelatin completely dissolves. Next step is the liquid hand soap. There we go. I poured the mixture into two bowls. If you make your soap in just one color, there won't be any need to separate it. Then we'll add coloring into each bowl, just like this. I am fond of colors. That's why I make two types of gummy bears. Now we pour our mixture into the molds. Actually, if you're not a fan of gummy bears like Sam, you can use any other molds, like hearts or stars, for example. It's up to your imagination. Next, we let it chill. I'll be right back. Uh, guys, do you like experiments? Let's test our soup. Sammy, our bears are ready. Sammy, where are you? You wanted to see them so much. Sammy. <laughs> we'll check to see if Sue can tell an edible bear from a soapy one. We'll leave them here and watch from our cover. Aha, here you are. Mm, you shared such a tasty treat with me. Thank you. You can't be fooled that easily. Guys, give a thumbs up if you knew for sure that Sue would guess that it's a gummy. Sammy, just look at this soap. Doesn't it look great? Awesome! I wonder if the oranges will be as juicy and sour sweet as the real ones. I don't think so, Sammy, but the smell... The smell will be delicious and natural for sure. And what's this? This thing is so scratchy. It's a loofah, sort of a washcloth. Look, I'll cut it into pieces now. Be careful with the knife, guys. So, what does it look like? Oh, it reminds me of citrus. Correct. We as Soap Guild members need to be very creative. Sue, since you're making citruses, I brought you three different colors. 
Ooh, that's great, Sammy! You're becoming a master of the soap craft! So in this bowl, we'll add lemon oil and yellow coloring. Into the next one, orange oil and orange coloring. The last one, grapefruit oil and red coloring. Now we mix everything really well and pour into the molds. It's good that now the soap making process is so easy. In the past it was quite tough and the smell wasn't good at all. Everything changes, Sammy. Okay, we'll leave our soap to set now. Good, good. I want to tell our viewers one interesting fact. Did you know that soap needs to mature just like cheese? It's nice that soap is not cheese and smells good. Otherwise, I would not bear another foul-smelling product in this world. So, finally, our last soap is ready. our bathroom with a tasty looking soap. Decorate. I just love that. Ah, beautiful. It is beautiful in here. And most importantly, it smells so good! Oh yes, all thanks to your enthusiasm, Sammy. And the help of our viewers. All those soapy treats made me so hungry! Do we have anything sweet? Let me think. Oh, here's a popsicle. No! Did you forget that it's not edible? <laughs> Sammy right, it is soap. I just wanted to test ya. Oh, Sue, let's hurry up and go test the capacity of my belly. All right, all right. I'm quite hungry, too. Let's say bye to our viewers. Bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Give a thumbs up and write some comments. Ciao.